Have the black seen it? Yeah. Let me see the roots. Yes. Yeah. We're at the Smart Farm at Roosevelt Middle School. This is Mr. McGinnis's class. My classroom is an experimental greenhouse, and we've designed this optimal system that we produce a harvest in less than four weeks from seed. We're just chilling out, doing vertical farming, and it's great. It's a really cool way to learn how to grow plants, learn how to build things that could help us in the future, and also we get to eat food, because we get to grow salad. Vertical farming, well, that's a tower, and basically you germinate, and then you put the stuff in the tower. This is our smart farm number six. Instead of using a pressurized sprinkler system, we're using a drip system that saves energy. It's a better drip system. It waters more evenly. The pump pumps it through here, and then the water comes out here, and then that's where the drip starts. So the excess water goes back into the basin, and we can reuse it. The smart farm uses, on average, less water than you would take in your normal shower to grow all the food. We're addressing real-world problems, and there's a lot of engineering jobs that don't even exist yet, and they are learning the skills that will prepare them for those engineering jobs in the future. We also are trying to find new ways to power the smart farm. This is our turbine that, so far, we've gotten 32 volts out of. Failure is key. We designed something, it might leak, we gotta rebuild it, redesign it. That hands-on experience is invaluable. Electric car prototype number three with a heavy counterweight. Go! We build cars, we race them, we design them. We're trying to use sustainable energy. Right now we have vertical farms in three schools, and so with the money we're going to build some more vertical farms. We want to power these with solar panels, so we want to buy solar panels. We need lumber to build a new system. we got to buy more plugs and seeds. I like being with my friends, being able to build, and smell the basil when I come in. I've learned so much and had a really fun time doing this because it's just something different that I would never have expected would have been something I could do. It's not the results, it's not winning the electric car challenge, it's the process. It's like when we're in the hallway, and we're saying, hey, have you tested out those gear ratios yet? Or like, what kind of seeds did we germinate yesterday? Or like, how are we gonna redesign that irrigation system? These conversations are always happening. That's the most exciting part.